how's it going? What I want to do is explain two different types of crafting macros. One's going to be an in-game crafting macro, and then the other macro is a AutoWit macro script that's going to run and help you do all the mouse clicking for your crafting. Make things like armor smith and weapon smith that are pain extremely easy. So first off, what I want to do is I want to show you a little bit about crafting, selecting the right draft schematic. So first thing you want to do is boot up a crafting station. I've got the clothing and armor because I'm going to be crafting armor experience. And in order to do so, I'm going to pick something like this armor weave segment because it only requires a few units of metal, very generic, and I'm not doing any crafting. It's probably pretty cheap metal. So that's what we're going to use. In order to find that, what we want to do, we're going to look at our data pad and we're going to look at armor specifically. So this is the armor weave segment that we're looking for. And in order to do that, there's a little thing that you need to do in your options. Control O under interface, unclick this, which is automatically sorted in pad contents. You want to do this because every time you learn a new draft schematic and you want to change, say, what you're crafting in order to get more XP, you're going to want to have that automatically sorted. Otherwise, you're just kind of shooting in the dark trying to find what, what it is you're trying to craft. However, if you have it unclicked like I do now, what you're going to be able to do in your data pad is go sequentially until you get exactly what you want. It makes it more, um, I guess, easier to locate. So this is what we're looking for, our data pad. We're only looking at armor segments or armor type of items. So what you can do, you can come up here and then start looking and start crafting start looking and counting for like armor so like that's an armor thing um, one go through here um, two three four five six seven eight nine ten um, we just get ten it's gonna be pretty close so close that and then I select press schematic 10 and select draft schematic is all one word space 10 and then let's see how close we are We've got the bone armor left bicep bone armor left bicep this so we're a little off too easy now we just want to go sequentially selecting only armor items so 10 11 12 13 14 15 so I'm guessing 15 should be getting closer. So let me back out. Select Crush Mac 15. And boom. Nailed it. Where we draft schematic segment. So that's what we're gonna be using on our macro that we're gonna create. Let me exit out, bring this up. I created this, but in order to show you how to delete it, that way I can walk you through on how to do it. So I'm gonna delete it, I'm gonna create a new macro, it's gonna be called craft. Armor, uppercase A. And then I'll walk you through what this is. I just copied and pasted it. You do that in Notepad and make it easier. You do it in game. I've done a video shows you how to create your copy, cut, and paste keys. So looking at this, we've got the UI action toolbar slot zero zero, which is the first one up here in your toolbar slot. Next thing, we're gonna put some pauses. This way, you're not issuing a bunch of commands. You're doing the pauses because there's gonna be some type of latency between you and the server. And every time you click on a crafting station or some type of draft schematic, you wanna give the server and the client a few seconds before issuing another command. So I'm gonna select draft schematic 15, which we just learned. And then these are the next commands to go through the different crafting stages and to create this item for XP. This practice no item down here at the bottom, what that does is it's going to craft it, but it's not gonna drop the item in your inventory. If you want the item in your inventory, take out the practice no item and I'll dump it in your inventory. So once you have that, you're gonna copy and paste it and then you're gonna be changing the toolbar slot number so it goes down the line. And then at the very end, we're gonna add recursion to it by recalling that macro again. So let me do that, show you what that looks like. So just pasted it, 
I'm going to change slot 00 to 01. Change it to 2. Change it to 3. Change it to 4. So 0 through 4 is 5 up there, which is what I have. And then we're going to call the macro again, which is M. And then what we typed up here at the top, which is craft armor capital A. OK. And throw it over there on F7. Close out of here. Verify that it works. Now in this step, I'll be doing the clicking we haven't implemented that in our auto -way. verifying that it's going to go through and hit every one of our crafting stations in sequential order and then at the very end it's going to recall the macro and start all over starting back with the bar slot at zero zero seems to be working quite steadily Moment of truth, here we go. And we nailed it. You see this confirmed by seconds in the top right corner of that crafting station. So now that it's working, I'm gonna dump this. That way we can move on. How to automate it. So we have our macro working. Next thing we want to do is have our computer doing the clicking for us. That way we can be AFK. So what you want to do is run your program from auto it called the auto it window capture tool you want to make sure that when you run it you run it in admin mode because the star wars client is running in admin mode so once you run that let me turn it on over here window finder you can see it it comes up like this and what you want to do is click this over until you click on the mouse because it's going to give you the position of your mouse cursor over here Let's find out where we want to put our mouse cursor by booting up crafting station and going into this. So we want to be clicking this over here. So we're going to bring up our window finder, drag it over to where we want to click and looks like 550 and 250 are our magic numbers for the X and Y coordinates on our screen. So we can exit out of this. We can turn off our window finder tool and we can bring up auto whip macro so in this auto whip macro i'm going to walk you through explain what it's doing and why it's doing it that way you have an understanding when you run it if you have any issues so first off we want to set a hotkey to terminate and that's down here in this function because if at any time we don't want the thing clicking and we want control of our computer back you hit delete just now we're just going to wait a second it's going to activate the windows client sorry the star wars client by activating that window and it's going to send the f7 key which is where we put our macro into up in our toolbar slot which is going to call our crafting stations so this is the main call and all it's doing is it's clicking so we have it clicking in that location that we found it's going to be double clicking so it's going to be clicking 550 250 these are in milliseconds so every quarter of a second it's going to be clicking and then it's going to wait a second and then it's going to check color and check color is a function that's built in there because sometimes when there's some lag between the server and the client and you're crafting your macro is going to try to go through and go to like the next crafting station when it really hasn't so it errors out and then it creates window upon window upon error upon error and then your screen just kind of goes black and if you're not putting this in there you're gonna to have to come back and hit escape three million times in order to get back to your game so that's why we're gonna check color it's gonna check and see if it's black it's gonna grab a pixel and then if it is black because it's been airing out, it's going to send 50 escapes, make sure that everything's okay, and then it's just going to go back to clicking. So that's the basic of, basis of it. And what I'll do is I'll run it right now. That way it goes 
I mean, you can see it running through, doing the clicks. I'll be standing back, and then after that, I will intentionally run another crafting station in order to have it error out so you can see that once it does go black, it'll check and then correct itself. So, without further ado, here we go. Let's get started. I'm sitting back, hands free crafting. towards the end and we'll see it loop back again and after it loops back again that's when I'm going to enter another crafting station so it starts to air out and it should recorrect itself. So here we go. I'm gonna boot up crafting station number three after this already starts to load. Okay. So there's the air. As you can see the screen is getting black, it's getting darker. And after it goes through another error, so the screen will have that blackness that we just tested. And it's going to error out. You'll see it go click because it executes 50 escapes in a second. And then it should start crafting again. There we go. Corrected itself. Should start crafting. Hey, there we go. Perfect. So now we're back to crafting. That's pretty much it. I don't think there's anything else I really need to highlight in this video about what's crafting. Um, what I can do, maybe a different add-on if anybody has any questions about how we go from selecting this armor weave segment to leveling up and selecting something with more XP, maybe a bit more difficulty where it has two ingredients for that crafting thing where you want to click in one spot and then wait a second click in the other spot for the second one that way you can get your armor smith or weapon smith faster that's something i can create a video if anybody is looking for something like that let me know on that have a good one i hope that you enjoyed the video Thank you for watching.